public had to face in 2008 and, uh, and unfortunately then uh, Europe is struggling with now. Um, I, I think we all would agree with that. There's a lot of reasons for assuring market integrity. Would you agree with me and without having to go back and read Dodd-Frank that the CFTC um, is allowed to prohibit foreign countries from installing trading terminals here in the U.S. unless they have similar position limits? Yes. So you can use that authority to level the playing field. Is that correct? Yes. On the question of mutual funds, um, we have an existing law which says that for certain tax benefits, uh, mutual funds can invest no more than 10 percent in alternative investments, including in commodities, alternative investments being alternatives to investments in securities. Um, mutual funds are getting around this 10 percent limit in one of two ways, both of which have been so far approved by the IRS, but which the IRS is now reviewing. Number one, they're investing in commodity-related ETPs, which qualify as securities, and two, some mutual funds have established offshore entities that they then use to invest in commodities, uh, doing indirectly what they can't do directly uh, by creating shell corporations offshore, which they control. Now, we've identified in Exhibit 7 40 mutual funds whose primary focus is to invest in commodities and adding tens of billions of dollars of additional speculative pressures on commodity prices. What is your ex understanding of the extent to which mutual funds are active in commodity markets now, either directly through ETPs or indirectly through offshore shell entities? Well, I think um, this is an excellent uh, uh, exhibit for the public and for, for us as well. Uh, but this is part of that other number, the 250 or so billion dollars that uh, is in our monthly reports on commodity index investment. So this is a, a piece of that larger uh, uh, pie. 